You need to be doing this one thing to be ending every exercise physiology session with purpose. And that's zooming in and zooming out. So when I finished university and I started getting to the workforce, I carried over some habits that I had from university into private practice. And so when I was at university and I was going to work at the university clinics, it's kind of seeing the same clients every session and you'd end every session saying, oh, have a good week, I'll see you next session. And so I carried that habit over to private practice and it doesn't work as well because people are paying real money, much more money than they're paying the universities to come see you to improve their health. And so I learned this new way to actually end sessions with purpose rather than just saying the old, you know, I'll see you next time. Because people don't know why should they be seeing you next time. And so this new framework that I used where I zoomed in and I looked at what we had progressed during the session and then I figured out and I zoomed out how does the, what we progressed during this session actually relate to the overall goal and then what are we going to do next session to continue to progress towards their goals. So you're zooming in on what happened well and what progressed this week then you're zooming out of how that relates to our bigger picture goal and then figuring out what are we going to do next week? And so the first time I applied this, I listened to it on the podcast and I thought, you know, next, tomorrow I'm going to apply this with a client and the first client I applied it to and I zoomed in on what we'd done well in the session, what we'd, how that relates to our bigger picture goal and then what we're going to do next week. And I kept stumbling my words when I was saying this and it was kind of embarrassing because it was the first time I'd done it and I'd stuffed it up. But what I did is I went home I feel in myself and I watched myself in the mirror say it again and again and again and I kept practicing and practicing and practicing until eventually I was able to say it confidently and so that's the difference you've got to keep practicing this thing because eventually when I first started saying it I was crap I was zooming in but I was stumbling oh what are we going to say and then I zoomed out and I wasn't sure about how this is particularly going to relate to their overall goal or well, what are we going to do next session well I'm not sure but with practice you can get better at it and eventually become a habit, an automatic habit. But the thing it starts with is just trying it. And then when you're not that good at it, practicing at home in the mirror by yourself and then getting good at it until you're confident enough to do it with the client as well. And the first time I said this, I was saying, you know, we progress your balance and that's really good for our goal of trying to stop us from falling over again. And so next time we're gonna improve your balance some more. And it was pretty vague and not well communicated to the client what the session was about why they should come in next session so then I started practicing and I was saying you know we were able to really improve your tandem balance walking it was a bit shaky to start with but by the end of the session you're pretty confident and that's going to help with our long-term goal of being able to reduce our falls risk which is something that I know you wanted to be focusing on long term and so next session, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on some single leg balance, something that's a bit more static, and we're gonna improve not just our walking balance, but also our standing still static balance. So that's what we're gonna focus on next session, okay? And so when I started practicing that, I was able to build my confidence and get more succinct with my communication. When I'm talking to the client about zooming in what we've done well this session, zooming out on how that relates to their goal, and then what are we going to do next session? So it came with lots of practice alone in my bedroom by myself after the end of the day and trying to practice zooming in, zooming out and then what's the plan for the next session? So I hope you found this zooming in, zooming out and then plan framework useful for any of your sessions. If it doesn't work out the first time when you apply, don't worry, it didn't work out for me, I was crap. The client laughed at me as an embarrassing but the thing is, I just went home and I practiced and I got better and better and more succinct and I continue to practice every single day of zooming in, zooming out and I do a few other things to practice as well. But eventually you get decent at it and it becomes a habit. So when you end every session, you know what to do and you know what to say and you can say it succinctly. And you're not just saying, hey, I'll see you next session, have a good week. It's a bit boring, but when you're saying zooming in, zooming out and what's the plan for the next session, you're giving the client a purpose to come in next time. So I hope you found this useful. Practice it when you're at home. Practice it with your clients and just get better at it. And I'll see you in the next video.